Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Josh and Tamara Show. I'm Tamara. I'm Josh. It's Friday night. Thanks for joining us here at the Josh and Tamara Show. We're very excited to have you here. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Josh. How are you? I'm really great. Good. That was my official, that was my <laughs> news anchor. Hey, how's it going? I'm really great. Good. Okay. So. We have a really great show. We have Grandpa coming up for the Game of Thrones spoiler segment. Yeah, he's going to be reviewing episode four. four. And a little later in the show, we're going to have Sarah Bear joining us to play a very special Kardashian quiz game. So make sure you stick around for that. It's going to be awesome. You're watching The Josh and Tamara Show. Can you whistle anything like that? The, is the, the middle that part. Like the middle part, he really, the whistler really starts jamming on the theme song. <laughs> he's like in the in the booth, like. <laughs> yeah, like really, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have a really cool segment called "Care or Don't Care." Do you care about Josh whistling? Care or don't care? I care. <laughs> care or don't care? This is the theme song that goes on to the titles that you're seeing right now. Do you care? I don't care. Dun, 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 dun. What if you didn't play the titles and just played us doing whatever that That would be was. perfect. Okay, here we go. Care or don't care? It is, uh, you know, the Friday after the big Met Gala. Yes. Tamara, care or don't care, Met Gala. I don't really care because it's like a big like masquerade party for like really really rich famous celebrity people oh, i only would care if i was invited but what i'm not you, invited what would you wear so i don't really care what would you wear if you got invited i would wear something really cool and bold very victorian-esque era maybe a victorian era well this year's theme was oh, i forgot now oh great lady gaga got signed up oh yeah my girl gaga got signed up to be the co-sponsor of or the host of the event and this year she picked the theme, oh, what was the theme? Opulence? Opulence. No, it was, it was camp, camp. The theme was camp this year, so what? everyone's wearing very campy stuff. And I'm going to say, don't care. <laughs> Back to you, Tamara, in the studio. Oh, uh, good. I'm glad you don't care. Um, but, you know, Lady Gaga, let me just say real quick, though, Lady Gaga really represented. She did, like, she had, like, five different layers or four different layers. It was, like, a big puffy thing. Then she took the puffy part of her, her outfit off. <laughs> and then it was, like, something less revealing. And then she pulled it all off. And she was, like, like a bra and, like, bustier, like, totally half naked. And, like, she, like, laid on the stairs, like, all, uh, like, diva -ish. She did have so four outfits. I so give her props. Good for, for Lady Gaga. Gaga. And, uh, you know, congratulations to the Met Gala. I don't know what it's for. I don't even know if they raised money. It'd be nice if they raised money. I don't yeah, really know. Yeah, for something. Um, so I don't care. Next topic. So finally, we follow this very closely on the show. So I'm already going to assume I know the answer to this, but care or don't care, Tamara, Meghan Markle, and oh. the Royals had their baby yeah. this week. Very exciting. Care or don't care, Tamara? I care because I want to know the baby's name. Mm. And I'm trying to figure out. Is it going to be more traditional, like, you know, English name? Like, back, like, did she pay an homage to, like, Princess Diana somehow? Does she make it into a D, like a D name or Interesting. something? Interesting. Could be a D name. I'm going to say that I uh, also care, and not to be outdone, also uh, celebrity comedic uh, genius Amy Schumer also had her baby, I think within the same 24-hour period. And I, I'm sorry, that's just in, if I'm not mistaken, yes. I'm being told in the booth that right now we actually have Meghan Markle via satellite with her newborn baby. This is big news, folks. This is not something that happens very often, and we have her right now. Let's cut right now to Meghan. Meghan, how are you recovering, and how is the baby? Hi, this is my baby, and I can't really hold the baby right now. There, okay. Um, I'm doing great. Here he is. Congratulations. It's, What's What did you name it? I can't. It's like, un shh, it's under. And wait, this just in, I think we also have Amy Schumer on the line. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hi. I had a baby. Hi, you got... Check it. Oh, Check yeah. it. Oh, there, there. Amy, there, there. congratulations. Got a little gas. Congratulations, Amy. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Dang, wait. It's so great. My baby really hasn't been crying much. It sounds like yours has. No, mine has... Um. Well, you know, I think I might have been a little dehydrated because for the, you know, for the entire birth, I was having lots of vomiting? stomach yeah, and I heard, vomiting I heard issues. You were vomiting. I yeah. was having lots of vomiting issues. I'm, I'm not used to having this thing yet. I'm not sure what to do with it. 
It's cute though. Mm, look um, at that thing. It's so cute. Well, Amy, guess what? <laughs> what? When we had our baby, it was a beautiful home birth, and but it wasn't like a home birth. It was in Essex House. Uh -huh. And it was so peaceful, and I had all my friends and family around me. It was so amazing. That's great. I um, I had mine in the hospital because I'm a regular human being. So. Oh, okay. Well, two well, on you. That's really well. Royalty. And don't. Okay. First of all, I come from America too, so I understand. Um, Amy, your baby's crying again. Um. <laughs> So, Amy, guess what? When what? my son was born, yeah. he latched on me right away. So he's been drinking, like, my breast milk nonstop, and it hasn't even been hurting. My nipples are not even, like, irritated. Wow. How you about don't, you? You don't say. You don't say, well, me and my bebe. Um, you know, the thing is, I wasn't used to it, and then the, we had a lactation specialist come in, and they're like, you can't leave the hospital until you know how to... Treat this baby correctly, and I was like, "Give me a break, will you? I just had a baby. Give me a break." And, and then they they made me stay, you know, an extra few days, and we tried to latch on. And then after a while, I was like, "You know what? Bottle time. Give me the Similac. You know what I'm talking about?" <laughs> Amy, I, I that's so hilarious. But you should be really careful because babies' necks are super sensitive. You should hold the baby proper. Oh, sorry. Right. Um. So also, do you know what? What? When my son was announced, we had a royal announcer outside the palace with a scroll who announced it to the public. It was really wow. beautiful. I had, I had very similar, except I had page six was there. Page six was there. Oh wow, that sounds me. amazing. Oh, oh sh Reginald, we don't have a name yet. I'm calling him Reginald because I'm pretending like he's royalty. Okay, Reginald. Sounds like a royal name, but I don't think anybody in history has been called Reginald. Do you have any names picked out? Yeah, but I. Do you have any names picked I'll out? I'll text you later. Okay. Thanks, Josh and Tamara. I hope you uh, stay abreast of our baby's names and you put it on your show next week. Ha <laughs> ha! She said breast. Get it? That's hilarious. Well, see you guys later, our Josh and Tamara show. You're the greatest. Bye. Bye. -bye. Hey guys, it's me, your host, Josh, for another episode of Can You Keep Up With The Kardashian Quiz? All right, great, so we got two contestants today. We got Tamara and Sarah Baird. They're going to be playing as a team, working together to see, are uh, working as a team? No, separately. I don't even know the rules. Separately. What's going Either on? Either I'm going to win or Sarah's going to win. We're going to find out who's the better Kardashian fan. Oh, well, that's definitely going to be me. Definitely going to be me. All right, that's great. So now we know what the contest is all about. It's Sarah versus Tamara. Let's see who's got the knowledge, the bills to pay the bills, the skills to pay the bills. Do you want to do Should have been here for practice, rehearsal, <laughs> practice, soccer practice. All right, nice to see you guys. It's excellent. Here we go. Are you ready to play? Can you keep up with the Kardashian quiz? Tamara and Sarah Bear. Let's see who's yes. got the skills to pay the bills. That's right. Let's see who's got the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> the answer is we. I was going to say ma. Moi? That was way too mis- All right, here we go. Let's okay, here we go. Question. So, question number one. Question number one. What is the name of Kim's second child? Is it South, Saint, Chicago, or True? Um, hmm. I know. Tamara! Saint. The answer is Saint. That is correct. Congratulations. You have the first question. Put that down. You're going to keep your score. Question number two. In 2017, Chloe was arrested for a DUI and voluntarily turned herself in to serve jail time. How did Kim spend the morning leading up to Chloe's three hour stint in jail? Did she A, go shoe shopping, B, taking selfies in her Blackberry in the car? Or C, ugly crying. Sarah and Tamara. Oh, I got this one. I got this one. I got okay, this one. Okay, go ahead. Um, it was taking selfies. Taking selfies. Oh. That is correct. Taking selfies is correct. Kim spent the entire time taking selfies of herself in the car. While her sister's going wow. to jail. Wow. Well, okay. You got to take a picture of yourself the whole time. There we go. Question number three. <laughs> Let's see who's got the skills to pay the bills. What was the name of Chloe and Courtney Gabe? Wait, uh, what was the name of Chloe and Courtney? Gave Kim so they could talk about her behind her back. What did they call her behind her back so they could talk about her? What nickname did they give her? Was it A, Cindy, B, Kiki, C, Nancy, or D, Christine? Hmm, that's a tough one. I don't know that I one. I know. Which one? What's Nancy. Nancy! 
Final answer? Nancy. Nancy. This is my final answer. Final answer, Nancy is correct. Yes. Congratulations, Tamara. They called her Nancy. I don't know why. <laughs> Like, have you, you have seen it. Nancy's butt? It's so big. Works for me. Question number four. Which one of Chris, Chris's children was the first to give birth? Was it Kim, Chloe, Courtney, or Rob? Oh, I know that one. I know that one. Oh, you do know? I know oh, one. you said it first before I rang the bell. Oh, sorry. So you can go first. It was Rob. Uh, Rob gave birth first. Wait, no, that doesn't make no, any sense. I know. What? Uh, Courtney. Tamara for the steal, and Courtney is correct. Congratulations, Tamara. Courtney had a baby first. There she is having about to go have a baby. <laughs> what is the name of Rob Kardashian's sock line? What is the name of his socks? He has a sock line. Is it Arthur George? George Arthur? Or Rob Socks? Or Jack Daniels? Um, um, that's a ridiculous question. Do you really have a sock line? He does have a sock okay, line. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Rob Socks. No, Rob Socks. I think, actually, no, I, I, I know. Okay. That's not right, What's though. What's the answer? I know. Um, Arthur. Arthur. Oh, what is what's the A? What's A? Arthur George. Arthur George. Arthur George. Is that what it is? That is the dumbest yeah. name. That is the dumbest. That is the dumbest name <laughs> for a sock company. Why? Oh, honey, I need to go out and get you some. Oh, oh hey, <laughs> honey, I need to go out and get you some socks. Yes. Go get me some of the Arthur Georges. <laughs> I have holes in my you socks. You want white socks? Arthur no, Georges. Hi, and Arthur George. Kardashian sock. All right, question money. number six. Here we go. Rolling along, ladies and gentlemen. What is the name of the Kim's makeup brand? Kim's makeup brand is it Kim's Cosmetics, Kim Kardashian West Makeup, KKW Beauty, or Kardashian Beauty? Which one is it? Um, I. Why would anyone know that? I I kind of think I know that. Why do you wear her makeup? No, but I've seen a lot of the Kardashian show, and she always or Instagram stories, and she always is like, guys, check out my lip kit. And what is it called? I, do you want? I know. Do I think you? it's KKW Beauty. KKK. Oh, KKW. Is Thank that, goodness. Is that right? Whoo! Interesting, interesting. You know, you put an extra K in there. KKW. You got real problems. KKK. Real problems <laughs> if you misspell that one. You're right, Sarah. Maybe they, they really should have talked to the marketing they people about have. that. I know. All right, rolling <laughs> along here. What is the name of Chloe's ex husband? Chloe's ex husband's name is either Tristan Thompson, Chris Humphreys, Lamar Odin, or Fitty Sen. You should Fitty Sen. Um, no, um, Fitty! I'm going Fitty. Oh, no, she was married to the Laker. Um, I, I think I know. Kyrie Irving. No. <laughs> See a Laker? I'm gonna guess. What's your answer? Odom? Lamar. Lamar Odom is correct. There they are, the happy couple, and then he cheated on her or something like that. What was the name of Kylie's reality show? Short lived reality show by Kylie. Was it The Truth About Kylie? Life of Kylie? Keeping Up with Kylie? Or Kylie Jenner? Uh, um. Uh. Uh, is it Life I with never Kylie? Saw it. I think it's Life with Kylie. Life with Kylie. Let's yeah. go Life with Kylie. And the answer is Life with Kylie. Congratulations. There she is. Look at her and all her moles. Good for her. Oh, my God. And number nine. Which? One more. Two more questions for the championship. What's the score so far? Looks like Tamara's got seven and Sarah's got one. Oh, my God. I'm winning. Which of these is not named after one of Kylie's makeup items? Tipsy. One Wish. Rager. Damn girl. <laughs> Which one of these is they not also, named like, after they, like, made one of Kylie's up, makeup items? Like when they were drinking, they sound um, like they made them up when they were drinking. I'm going to go uh, with damn girl. Oh, good guess. Damn girl. <laughs> damn girl. How do you pronounce that? How do you say that? Damn girl. It's spelled G-U-R-L. Damn girl. <laughs> That's right. I did it. That's right. The correct answer is damn girl. Good, Congratulations, good Sarah. Sarah. Picking five. up a point. High five. Good High job. Five. Good job. Okay, okay, wrong voice. So I have seven so, and you have two. So all right, final this is question. One last question. This is the final question. Good yeah, luck. Good luck. I want to wish you good luck. Good luck. And before we go, yeah. it's been a pleasure playing it's with you. It's been a pleasure. Good luck. The pleasure's all mine. All right, what was the name of the first ever Keeping Up with the Kardashians episode? First episode ever called, was it called? Meet the Family. I'm watching you. The Price of Fame. Bible. Is Bible an option? What was the name of the it's first like episode? Anti Bible. Was or it something. Bible? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Bible. <laughs> um, no, wait, I'm gonna go with. Um, let's see. Meet the family. Meet the family. Meet the familia. Is That's that Spanish. correct? What? No, that is not correct. I'm watching you. 
All right, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for playing another episode of Can You Keep Up With The Kardashian <laughs> Quiz? Fantastic, fantastic. So the prizes are going out to Tamara. She's going to get Yay. a whole bunch of new socks from Rob Kardashian's sock Dang. line. Yeah. Uh, his socks are called Arthur B. Georgie's. And she's also going to get a makeup kit from Kylie Makeup's no KKW. No oh, wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. I'm so excited. I'll share some. Oh, thank you. Thanks, yeah. Josh. You're Thanks, the greatest guys. host ever. That was so much fun. I All love right. you, Kardashians. See ya. Bye. Bye. Welcome to another episode of Spoiler Alert with me, Grandpa, Sayer Spoilers, King of Knee Pain, and Loser of Glasses. Episode 4, Game of Thrones, people. This week was a busy one, so get your ale and hang back as I recap the episode for you now. Let's see, where to begin? Okay, so we're back at the castle at the top of the episode. Picks up right where we left off. First thing, the whole gang is there to bury its dead. And it's all so sad. You know, best to burn them, though, because, you know, you don't want to accidentally have them turn back into zombies. So, you know, good bet, you know. Dragon Lady's there, Redhead's there. All sad. Too sad. R.I.P. to the G.O.T. supporting cast. Because we don't need you anymore with only two episodes left. So then, you know, what do you do after you burn all the dead and you kill all the zombies from the zombie battle? Well, duh! It's time to party, yo! So, off to the Great Hall we go! So it's party time, and we're in the Great Hall. And congrats all around. Arya Stark, the true hero of Winterfell. Then, it happened. The best thing to hit spoilers since the beginning of spoilers. And yes, I'm talking about the coffee cup. This coffee cup wound up on set somehow. And it's really funny Obviously, for the obvious reasons. And, you know, I think most people on the internet, they kind of did, you know, they did the good what all with this one. But I want to comment for a section, second on the fact that somehow, with $6 million to $15 million spent per episode, somehow, with the army of production assistants on set, somebody left a coffee cup in the middle of the damn set! What's wrong with you people? Aren't you in the union? Aren't you a bunch of professionals? So boo on you, G.O.T. That's just plain lazy stuff. And uh, if anyone wants to, my drink is a uh, triple shot soy milk latte. Grande. So, okay, so anyway, so then, so then what happens? So they're all getting drunk before and after the coffee cup shows up. And then, you know, cut to a super cute drinking game between Dinklage and Jamie and the ward and the big night lady. And Dinklage calls her out for being a virgin. Duh, no spoilers there. I could have told you that just from looking at her. You, you know how some people have that thing called, um, what do they call it? Oh, yeah, gaydar, where they can spot a gay person from like a mile away. I have the same thing, but it's, it's called virgin dar. I can spot him, boy. It's a gift. So anyway, where were we? So, okay, so there's, and then, then, then we cut to a whole bunch of fornication for a while. I mean, after you kill a bunch of zombie walkers, I guess the only thing left to do is bang a rang, you know what I'm talking about? There's not much else to do in the north, you know? So let's get it on! Something in that wine, boy, I tell you. And then Red and then the Hound, they have a nice chat. And then it's time for the hard bumping, getting down, making uglies, bumping the diggity dog on the ding dang. That's what I used to call it back in, back in the day when I was still making Ding Dang. Anyway, so then, then Gandry finds Needle. And he's all like, I love you. I've just been made a lord. Won't you come live with me in a castle? And Needle's like, what are you, crazy? I just killed the White Walker. I saved the whole entire planet. What do you think, I want to go hang out and make house with you? What are you, nuts? Get real, buddy. And he's all like, oh, but I love you. And she's all like, I'm an assassin. So she leaves later on with the hound. They hit the trail, but where are they going? I don't know, Game of Thrones. Why don't you throw through some more unresolved plot points two episodes away from the end of the whole damn series, okay? Anyway, cut to Jon Snow, and he's in his room, and he's all sad, and then enter Dragon Lady, and they start macking, but then all of a sudden they're like, no, it's wrong. We're cousins now. But it's too late. They're already in love, you know, but it's hard to make out with your cousin, right? I mean, right? I mean, I've never tried it, but... Go figure, right? Not going to be a comfortable situation. So then, it's off to the pl battle plan room. They chat. They chat about how effed they all are. But Needle, she's pissed. 
And then she's like, hey, John, we need to talk. And then all of them meet at Creepy Tree, and Bran's there. Bran's all like, it's your choice. And he's like, um, what am I going to do? I'm Jon Snow. Do I tell my sisters, who aren't my sisters, that I'm not their brother, but I'm really their king? And guess what he does? He spills the freaking beans right there at Creepy Tree. Way to keep a secret there, John boy. Anyway, so then, walks in, and then... Then, all of a sudden, we cut to another fireside chat, because they like to do that these days, and Dinklage is there with Jamie, and they're having a fireside chat, but then, you know, he starts with the rest of the series, and the, the guy comes in, he's like, I'm here to kill you, don't die, because if you die, I'm not going to get the castle you promised me, and they're like, alright, well, we'll give you a castle then, he's like, I'm going to punch you in the nose first, so that whole thing happened, which is kind of like, alright, well, let's just set up one more plot point, you know, because why not, there's only two more episodes left, we might as well do that. Anyway, cut to dragon ladies checking on her dragons. Can they fly? Yes, they can. So she's like, I'm out of here. And boom, she's off on her dragons. So she leaves on her dragons. She's on the way home. And then boom, Redhead tells Dinklage and Big J, the Big J snow reveal. So she keeps a secret for like half a scene. And she's like, hey, Dinklage, guess what? So she tells Dinklage. And then Dinklage, of course, tells the bald guy. And then Sam tells John that he's having another baby. And then, like, all these other folks in the Great Hall, and they were finally getting some action. And all of a sudden, they're like, hey, let's go head back to war. So then the second half of the episode is really where the action starts. A lot less chit-chat. A lot more action. So she's riding her dragon home. Dragon lady's almost there. And out of nowhere, she gets ambushed by Greyjoy. And he's on a boat with these giant spears. And boom! Oh! Shit, I lost my glasses. Uh, uh, I can't hear them. Mm. Oh, 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 there they are. So, I get all excited when I talk about Greyjoy. Greyjoy's got these arrows the size of a car. And he shoots one at the dinosaur. Bam! Shoots another one at the dragon. Boom! Shoots another one at the dragon. Blah! And the dragon dies! Falls in the water! Drowns! Spoiler alert! One less dragon. Now there's only one dragon left. So then, cut to, right before the dragons, Dinklage is telling the bald guy a secret about John, and the bald guy's like, hey, maybe we're back in the wrong pony here, and we shouldn't even be hanging out with Dragon Mama. Maybe it's all about Jon Snow. Dun, dun, dun! Let's just reveal one more plot line for an endless bunch of plot lines where there's only two episodes left. I can hardly take it, people. And finally, we're back at the Red Keep, and the whole town is being hoarded inside the castle, because Cersei's crazy. And then they have another fireside chat, and Dinklage is like, no, let's not, let's, let, we, should, we should back Dragon Lady, and Bald Guy's like, no! Maybe it's Jon Snow, we don't know. And cut back to Jamie. he's at Winterfell, and, and, and then Red, they share the news about Dragonland, and Jamie's like, uh-oh, I'm out, peace! And Big Woman's all like, please don't go, I love you. And he's like, I got a jet, babe. And he's out. But first, let me recap all the bad things I did. First, I pushed Bran out a window. And then I killed my own cousin for my sister. And oh yeah, I've also been banging my sister for the past ten years on this show. And I'm, I'm kind of in deep with my sister, he's all like. And I got a jet, dude. And he's straight up ghosts, the Big Woman. And the poor Big Woman's like, but I love you. No, don't go. So then he's out. Cut to... The great standoff at the end. It's a giant castle. And Dinklage and Dragon Lady stand outside the gates. And Cersei's there and she's all evil. And Dinklage is all, I got this. And he goes up to chat with his own sister. But it does not go as well. Spoiler alert. They cut the head off that lady. Who got kidnapped from the boat when the boat got hit by the arrow. Because there was only two African American characters on the whole show. So with only two episodes left, I guess I had to get rid of one. Horrible. Wish she stuck around. I really did like her. And then, Dinklage is even like, hey, I'm going to bring my your unborn child into it, sis. And for a second, just a second, we think Cersei's going to be like, you know what? You're right. I'm giving up the kingdom. But she doesn't. She gets meaner. Meaner. Like that's even possible. And the episode ends with the dragon lady looking pretty P.O.'d. But not as pissed as I'm going to be if they can't wrap up all these loose pop points by the end of the last two series. They only got two episodes to wrap it up, people. You better get it done. Dracurus! 
So, today's audience shout out goes to... Jen Himes! Congratulations, Jen Himes! You're the recipient of this week's shout out! And all you have to do if you want a shout out is to go to our YouTube page and subscribe and click the notifications button. That's right, all you have to do is go to youtube.com backslash the Josh and, and Tamara show. show. And you know, maybe, just maybe, you'll be selected for next week's shout out. But for now, it's all for you, Jen Himes! Thanks, Jen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You're the greatest. Hey, guys. Thanks so much again for joining Scared us. Scared me with oh, that. Sorry, hey. You know. Hey. Sorry. Try again. No, you don't have to try no, again. Three, two, one. And three. Thanks for watching. Two, one. It's been great. Thanks for watching. While Josh counts down, it's been great. we're done. We're done. Have a great night. We're reading the same cue card. Cue. For everybody here at the White Plains Media Facilities <laughs> and the Josh and Tamara Show, uh, from all the cast and crew, we'd like to thank you thank for watching. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Have a good night. What you doing? Hey. Hey, just... I just noticed something. Yeah. Um, the back of your phone matches your shirt. Oh, it does. Weird. Look it's at just that. flowers. It's just I like flowers. Is it because it's springtime? Uh, no, I just like flowers. This is really pretty. It's actually different colors, but um, thank you. Good show today. Thanks. You too. Are Thanks. you the type of person who changes their phone case for the season? No. Are you gonna have one with <laughs> snowballs on it for winter? No, I just got a new phone and I just had to grab a case and I got it real quick. It was like nine dollars. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. How about you? Do you change your I phone don't case? have a phone. Oh. No, you know why? Why? Because uh, everyone I know is dead, except for you. What? Well, there's no one really calls me. I call you and make sure you're here on time. Yeah, but that's at home. That's oh, in my oh, that's rotary. Right. That's your home phone. You have my, a rotary? That's my rotary. Wow. Yeah, so you know. You're keeping it classic. Don't come have a heart attack at my place because it's going <laughs> to take a long time to dial 911. <laughs> Nine. nine. But one is quick, so it's like one, one. One, one. Yeah, but it's a nine you got to get through. Right, then nine. It's longer <laughs> than you remember. I just never took to the digital. Yeah, it's cool. You know? As long as you know, you get emails. Huh? Do you get emails? Nope. Oh. Then how do you know when, like, uh, to come on set and what time You called arrive? me, remember? I don't call you. You're like, hey, be there Tuesday. Yeah, but I don't call you every week. Yeah, I know, but you know, I assume, and well, that's then why. If, that's then, you know, why. Wait, that's why you you miss the Met Gala um, red carpet party. Like, I didn't know why you didn't show up. No, no, I didn't go to that because I didn't want to go to that. Oh, but I emailed everybody. Oh, well, I never got that. But that's why you didn't come. Oh well, thanks for the invitation. Next time. Just nice to be invited. Anyway, oh, wait, catch you next week. What? I gotta go. My Uber's here. Oh, okay, I gotta go. My my bicycle's outside.